Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Develop Code Hunt. This time I'm going to continue with Sector 10, Task 5, and uh, I'm eager to try to complete this uh, 10th section in this episode, but let's see how I fare. For the first task, we get in an array of integer arrays and a number, and we're supposed to return a number. Let's see what test cases tell us. So if we get an array of an array containing only one and a zero, we're supposed to return a zero. If we get an array of an array containing only three and a two, we're supposed to return zero. For the array like this one and a one, we're supposed to return one. For I guess, I guess we're supposed to count the occurrences of i. That's my guess, and I'm going to try this out. Result equals zero. Return result. And now for int i equals zero. i smaller input length i plus plus for int i no j equals zero j smaller input i dot length j plus plus and now if um if input i j equals oh i is already given away so i have to um have to change my variable names here so this is going to be j this is going to be k this is j and this is k and this is uh, j and k and i and now it's may it may be working let's see if my first guess was right at least it solves the first three test cases. It, is, it solves the fourth test case. It takes quite long and it solves the whole thing and it even gives me the full skill rating. Thanks a lot. Let's continue to on, on with the next task. Task six. We get in an array of array of integers. Surprise, surprise. And we're supposed to return an integer. And... My first guess is that we're supposed to return the highest value, like the maximum value inside this whole thing. So we start off with zero, hopefully there's no negative numbers around, probably not. And again, I should have copied the, uh, er the, the loop structure I'm using here, because it's kind of redundant to type this every time but j equals zero j smaller input i dot length this way j plus plus if I try to type fast I'm making the most mistakes um, and then just say max equals math dot max from max and input i j see if that works and let's see if it solves the task solve the first three test cases pretty good start and apparently it solves all the test cases and even gives me the full skill rating so the code hand tool is in a good mood today apparently let's continue on with task 7 again we get in an array of integer arrays and we're supposed to return an integer array this time. Um, which is in this case the first array, in this case it's the second and in this case it's the first again is it the one containing the biggest number? 
<laughs> so we're somehow supposed to select one of the arrays in the array of arrays. The question is what is the criterion? Is it the sum of the numbers, the biggest sum, or is it something else? So int array results equals nothing and um, okay sorry that was my phone ringing um, now maybe I can continue so somehow we're supposed to select one of the inner arrays here and um, in this case there's only one to select so this is easy in this case there's two to select and it, it selects the one with the bigger numbers in this case there's also two to select and it selects again the one with the bigger numbers um, so far always the first number was sufficient and in this case it's also the inner array where the first number is the biggest so maybe we just uh, try that one out so for int i equals zero i smaller input dot length i plus plus I'm just going to say if um, max is smaller than input i zero then max equals input i uh, zero and result equals input i and then we're going to return result don't know if that's sufficient but if it's not unassigned local variable okay sorry that was my phone again um, maybe we get it now if we initialize this variable um, a solution to this task we'll see what happens okay now apparently I picked the wrong because it's not only the first element but it's probably more like the sum of the elements I am supposed to use to pick yeah probably it's a sum um, so and sum equals zero for int j equals zero j smaller input i dot length j plus plus I am going to sum plus equals i j and then say here instead of input i0 I'm going to use sum sum and then assign this to input better solves one two three test cases maybe it solves some more unfortunately I'm not very confident with regards to the skill rating but we'll see um, since it takes some time I may be able to start thinking about improvements here or maybe I just stop thinking about improvements because I got the full skill rating okay um, as I said before maybe I should just stop thinking about the skill rating before I see it because I don't get it anyways okay so let's continue to the last task of sector 10 again we get as input an array of int arrays and we're supposed to return an integer in this case and this integer contains some pretty big numbers 
One, one. That's easy. What's this? 1500. So it's the first element summed up in this case. And in this case. It's 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 maybe it's the bigger the biggest number out of all the uh, arrays summed up. It's eighty, so it's seventy. Yeah, makes sense here. I'm going to calculate this, but rather try it out. So we have an int result which is zero to begin with and we're going to return this result and then we're going to loop over our input as we are used to and then we have here um, Actually, I can give this a little more expressive name, say this is a sum and this is the max. And now we're going to loop over the inner array, j smaller input dot uh, input i dot length j plus plus. And then we're going to say if input i j is bigger than max then we're going to say max equals input i j and then we're going to add max to the sum that's should calculate what I just reasoned is the right solution but apparently um, it's not the right solution for this task there are multiple counterexamples that tell me that my number is actually too big. It's okay here, but it's broken here, which means too big. Because here it sums up the first ones actually. Here it's the sum of the first ones. But here's the sum of the bigger ones. So how is it selected which um, which numbers are summed up? How to select the right numbers? I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'm pretty confused. Okay. Apparently it's a little late and all these phone calls uh, confused me, but maybe I'll get it right. Anyways, so I'm going to walk over the outer array. Oh, sorry. Um, that's, of course, wrong. Um, I'm going to walk over the outer array and then I'm going to sum up. This is three values uh, apparently I'm still confused so let me do the following um, this is uh, an array of integers of the size of input dot zero dot length so and now I'm going to walk over all the arrays and I'm going to walk over all the inner arrays 
input i dot length. I'm assuming here that all the inner arrays have the same size, that there is at least one inner array, otherwise this would crash of course. And I'm going to say temp i plus equals input i j is that right? No, it's not right. Input j input j i. So this way and now I'm going to select the maximum out of that and max for in i equals zero i smaller temp dot length i plus plus I'm going to say if max is smaller than temp i then max is temp i and then I'm going to return max. Uh, I'm still not sure if I got this right. My brain is somewhat not able to do anything right now and apparently I did not get it right. Why didn't I get it right? Yes, it's okay, I got it, got it, I got it, I got it. I got it that I got it wrong. Apparently my sum up thing here does not work. So let's walk over these. And walk over those. And let's say i, i, j, right? No, now it's j, i. Maybe this is not, oh yeah, this looks better. Um, this is not of the, one of the best jobs I ever did in this game. But if it works now, at least I'm not completely dumb, only confused. Sorry that you have to bear with me. Uh, but finally, I apparently got it right, and somehow I even got the full skill rating for that. So this concludes chapter 10, the jacked arrays, and next time I'm going to continue with uh, sector 11, arrays 2. Uh, for the for the time being, I uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If so, I would be very pleased if you subscribe to my channel or follow me on Twitter. I post regular updates on what I do. Also, if you have any feedback, ideas or critics on what I'm doing, just drop me a comment or send me a message. I'm always glad to receive feedback. And uh, at, uh, as a last thing, if you're interested in development in general, you may be interested in the other Let's Develop series I'm doing, Let's, uh, like the Let's Develop with Maven and Eclipse or the Let's Develop Conway's Game of Life. So check out my channel and see, uh, uh, look for the playlists on what I'm doing. That's it for today. Thanks again for watching and see you next time.